Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online video where today I'm going to be doing a video that I haven't really done before. It's an overview on some of the new clothing and accessories that have been given to us through the gun running DLC, so let's have a look shall we? So some of the stuff that's included in this DLC requires that you unlock them first by either doing a mission as well as unlocking some by going to your shooting range in your bunker. Though most of the stuff is unlocked right off the bat, so don't feel like you're missing out on too much if you don't really have time for all that crap. Anyways, most of the gun running DLC clothing is pretty much what you expect it to be. It's a bunch of clothing which bears a camo pattern of many different varieties, as well as some pretty sweet head accessories, gloves, shoes, among other stuff. I'm particularly a fan of the berets that's on offer. Those two have a plethora of solid colour and camo patterns to choose from. What I'm not really a fan of is the lack of ability to fine tune the colours of the camo that's applied to your clothing. In fact, this should have been a feature from the get go. What if I wanted a pink leather jacket? The game's stopping me from doing that dag nabbit. But anyways, there's the usual stuff to expect in terms of clothing, but then there's stuff like these vests that make you look like Crocodile Dundee. There's also these overalls that make you look like you work at your local farm, yeehaw! There's also a whole bunch of masks and hats that you can buy at the seaside mask shop. And finally, there's a large selection of boots and gloves for you to choose from too. All pretty good stuff so far, but it's not perfect, and here's why. I wanted to make my own outfit reminiscent of something you'd use for sniping and hunting. I originally wanted this dark camo pattern for the entire set of clothing. So I equip it for my legs and then I go to my coats and... What the hell, it's not available for the coat? Uh, I gotta try a different camo pattern I guess. In the end, I had to mix and match some camo patterns of different clothing that looked similar but weren't exactly the same. It left me wanting more and this is a problem that could have been solved if they allowed us to define the exact colours of our camo patterns. So yeah, it was a bummer not having exactly what I wanted, and these are the little things in GTA Online that just makes us more disappointed in the game. And they all add up eventually. But on that note, I hope you enjoyed this short guide to the gun running DLC clothing, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyrome Gaming channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around everyone.